Hello, everybody. George Kenner, Problem Box. About a month and a half ago, my Eon Mira 7 Pro arrived and I came out to the garage. I started working on it. I spent a couple of days. I did a bunch of paper projects and wood. I came up with this problem box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how I designed it, where I got it from on the internet, and um, how easy it was. It was actually a free program to build this box and there's other things at that site. So let's just jump right into that. Bestie.info is the website you're going to want to go to to start the design process. You're going to arrive on the first page and it will show boxes and all of the different items that you can manufacture or make patterns for at this site. From boxes, you're going to go to the next page, which will give you all of the different style of boxes that you'd like to potentially make. Now, I picked the closed box. Now, this is still on page two, just scrolling down the page. But these are, if you open it up, you can see all the other potential box types that you have. There's accordion boxes. There's a bread box. There are even shelf dividers or box dividers that you can go to. Now, after you've picked the type of box you want, you're going to go to page three. Page three of the site is going to ask for the specifics for the type of box that you want. And we're looking at the closed box. So now these are the things that you're going to need to pay attention coming down the page. Each one of the boxes has the dimension X, Y, and H. Now, they're all in millimeters. There's approximately 25 millimeters to an inch, and I wanted a five millimeter box. So then you're going to come down to the default settings. And what I did was measure the diameter of the wood that I had in millimeters. It was 5.9. I put that in. Then I went to the format coming down the page. The type that I picked to go into Lightroom was an SVG. Now tabs. I needed no tabs because no laser is going to break free the piece of wood. So I didn't have any tabs. Then I went to labels. Now label is checked by default, but I took the labels off. If not, trying to remove the label for the numbering on each one of the boxes can be rather difficult and I wanted to write on the box. And then I went to inner corners. The type was corner and my burn was one millimeter. After that, I exported it as an SVG. I imported it into Lightburn. I ended up with the pattern. I went over to the text tool in Lightburn. I wrote in the items that I want, and then I went and set my burn pass. Now I wanted a nice deep engrave on this wood. So I took two passes at that. Then I went over to the machine. I burned it. I assembled it and I was done. As you can tell by watching that tutorial, I'm relatively new at this. I'm truly a hobbyist. The next thing I'm going to try and do is a tutorial with all the settings for slate coasters. Now I need to make a disclosure. I have become a partner with Eon Laser and you can see all the details to their partnership program. If you were to buy one of these machines and wanted to become a partner, the thing that really drove me was I want to buy a fiber laser and they will discount it if you become a partner. So why would I not do that? I do want to continue my hobby in uh, lasers. If there's any questions that you have, you can email me. My email is in the link. You can leave it in the comments. I'll try and give you any help that I can. Also on Facebook, Laser Freedom. That is my Facebook group. If you come in there and I can't answer the question, I bet you somebody else in there will. Anything I can do to help, please reach out to me. I wish you all the very best. I hope you enjoyed and subscribed.